Hey, Stamping friends, it's me, Rachel, um, with a joy of stamping with Rachel. Today is new catalog day and a new online store. So I'm here to kind of walk you through the new online store and show you some of the features of it. And I have to remind you to order today so that you can get the free special gift for me. Um, I have shared all the hostess codes and everything like that. So make sure you refer back to my business page for all that information. But today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to order online. First, I'm going to make my face a little bit smaller and put me in the corner. And then we'll get you over to our new thing. And I'll pop back up sometimes in that corner there. All right. So this is the new Stamping Up Online Ordering phase. When you first come and you type up stampingup.com or you use my website, it will lead you here. The first thing you need to do is go over to the right corner where it says sign in. If you already have a past account, you may go ahead and just sign in as usual. If you had your password saved, um, and you might not have it saved anymore. So you might need to update that information and you can always change that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create an account. And it's really easy. So it has my old one right here. That's what I usually use. But I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is Rachel. And I'm gonna put my last name as guest. So I'm gonna be just like a guest today visiting. I'm going to put in my email information, maybe, there we go, let's give it a new email, there we go, and let's give it a new password as well, don't worry, you can't see this part while I type it in. Your password has to be at least eight digits long and a number and one capital. So keep that in mind as you set up your account. I'll confirm my password. And I say create account. Awesome. I'm not going to save this one. It says, hello, Rachel. So you know it's me. Next, you want to go to find a demonstrator. Now, if you use the link that has my website, then you don't have to worry about this and it will automatically link you to me. But you can go over here. I clicked on find a demonstrator and I said find a demonstrator by name. Since you know my name, my name is Rachel Kuhn. And let's see what happens when I put that in. And there I am, Rachel Kuhn. There's even a photo of me to verify, and I'm in San Pedro, California. If you don't collect, select a demonstrator now, it will remind you at the end to either pick one that's near you or to choose a name, or they will select one for you. Because Stamping Up is a, um, they don't get direct sales to Stamping Up, they always want to go to a demonstrator. And if you want to keep that information private of yours, then don't worry, that's an option as well. All right. So here we are, we've signed in, we've made an account, I'm shopping with myself. We're in the USA, um, if you wanted to, you could click on that and it would give you the other choices, but we are in the United States. And then we can go here, and I'm gonna go to what's new, because today is the first day of this new catalog. So I'm gonna click on there, and it's gonna take us, and we'll click on there as well, shop this catalog. And here we have the beautiful new catalog. There's a cover of it. And here are some items. Isn't this fun? It has a nice filter on the side right here. So if I wanted to look by color, color swatches, sizes, price, the catalog, there's different ways to filter. We have the English and the French. And clean and photopolymer, stamp set type, occasion. So there's all these different type of filters over here on this side including sweets, which is a great way to look. But let me show you a couple fun features here. Let's go ahead and just pick the very first thing, which is the red velvet paper. I can either do a quick shop on here, and I can just add it to my cart if I want. I can look at the multiple photos, 
It says it has two, and but I'm not sure I want this quite yet. So I'm going to do it, to add it to my list right here. This little heart it says add to list, and I can either create a new list. You can have up to 10 lists on here, or you can just put it as your favorites. So I'm going to put it as one of my favorites. And then I'm going to go back. Let's see. There we go. Go back to our catalog. And let's do a couple more things. Yeah. Ooh, here's some new mini coffee cups. Those are fun. Let me go ahead and just put a heart right there by that one. And I would say that's one of my new favorites. So I'll put it in my favorites. What else do I like here? Ooh, we have some Halloween items. Let's go favorite for that one. Of course, if I wanted to add to my cart, I could just go ahead and do that as well. But right now, I'm just kind of window shopping. My first initial looks. Ooh, this red trim. I like that. That would be nice. Let me go ahead and shop a little bit by a suite. Maybe I'll pick a whole suite real quick. Ooh, this is a nice one. Let's look at this. So this is a whole suite, that everything that comes in this one. And this is a fun fall one. And it has ribbon and a stamp set and this neat new brush metallic cardstock. Some punches with this bundle right here. That one's the French one. So I could probably just put English because I'm not a French person. Don't speak French. And there are those ones. But I got rid of all, some of my items there. So I'm going to say clear because I want to have some more choices. All right. Um, I love this paper. So I'm going to put that as one of my favorites. And if I wanted this whole suite, there should be, let's see if I can find it, a button that says for all of it. Let me, oh, there's a bundle, bundle, paper. I'm not finding it here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and add these punches too to my favorites list. I haven't added anything to my cart yet. If you look up here, my cart is still empty. It says, my shopping cart, there are no items in your shopping cart. So I'm going to go over here to my heart button because that's where I've been saving everything. And here is my list of favorites. I'm going to now click on my favorites. And I'm going to say I want it all because I just couldn't pick one. So I'm going to go over here and add all to shopping cart. But if I didn't want it all, I can go ahead and add just a couple of things. It's been all gathered in my wish list better choice as well. I have right here. It's called share list. Let's say my birthday is coming up or Christmas is coming up and I want to get this as a gift. So I will go ahead and push share list and I'll copy that link and then I can share that with my husband, with my friends, anyone who I want them to know that these are the things that I would like to have and it'd be easy shopping. I would just copy that link by clicking there but let's go ahead and add all to my cart. And now I'm gonna view my cart. And there, there those items all went. And also I have some items that they suggest for me. So I'm like, oh, I didn't see this one. I'm gonna add that embossing folder, which is really, really pretty. It's an evergreen forest one, gorgeous. Oh, there's a fun new card display. That would be fun to add to. Let me go ahead and add both of those because I get a lot of cards and I wanna have them on display. So I've added items that are on the bottom and I can check out. I did shop during bonus day, so I do have some coupons. So I would just click right here and I would enter my coupon. You can only enter one at a time and I would push apply. I also have a hostess code and there's two ways to shop with hostess codes. I now will give you a link each month for the hostess code and you could just use that link and it will automatically join it with this code with that code for this shopping experience or you can just manually type it in. I had it. Let's see if I have it on here still. Paste. Nope, that's a different code. So my hostess code for this month was is 4MDTBTBR, and then I push apply, and there we go. I have that host code applied to it. Then once I'm all ready, I have my coupons in, I have my hostess code, I'll say I would like to check out. I do want you to notice before I check out that there right here is this tab that says feedback. And if I click on here, I can go ahead and give 
feedback about this new online store. I can be specific and I can be generic. And either one I want and this will go stamping up and they will read these. They are so excited for this feature because they really want you to enjoy your shopping online and would like to hear what you like and like to hear what you don't like. So feel free at any time during your shopping experience to click on there. Let me go ahead and close it. Then I would put in my shipping address. I push continue. You can click here if you'd like to receive promotional offers for new product notifications from Stamping Up. Um, you would add your shipping method, your payment method, and if you hadn't added me yet, this is where you would find another spot to add me as your demonstrator. And it just says that Stampin' Up! Demonstrator is an independent business owner and they will be the one who will help you out. And so you want to make sure you select that person. And then it would be time to check out. Isn't that awesome? So this is it. I'm not going to finish this order because this isn't for real. This is just my practice. Let me go ahead and get my face back in here. You see me a little bit. This website is so exciting. If you have any questions, feel free to comment right now, and I will address them as I know. It's new to me, too, but I will gladly ask people and the right people for the right answers and help you out with your online ordering. Um, if, remember, today is my special day, so feel free to order with that hostess code, and you will get a special gift from me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy stamping, everyone. Enjoy the new catalog and the new online store. Bye, everyone.